So George, you talked a little bit about the modules and the different topics available in our, our last video. One of the other common questions that we get is about internships and actuarial and financial studies students complete an internship in their third year in the course. Would you be able to describe a little bit about your experience and maybe as well kind of touch on how you actually secured the placement? Yeah, so I guess the first thing to say is that actuaries kind of work on a, across a broad range of areas. So there's, you know, you can work in general insurance, life insurance, you can work in pensions, you can work in investing or in consulting. So you've got quite that broad range when you're first going into it. So how the process works to get the, the, the internship is that the companies work in generally in Dublin, but we have some overseas placements as well. They come in with their advertisements into the, to the students. Um, that comes through UCD, then you as a student, you go through them, pick the ones that you think you might like to work in, or maybe it's the particular areas that you want to work in, and then you apply to them for the job. And then if they like, you know, your CV or application, they come back to you and interview you. And then once they've interviewed, you know, all the people that they're taking for the jobs, they go back and pick them out and then they come back and decide who they want to uh, take on. So when I was doing my placement, I did it back last January or I started last January. Um, I, I went to a consulting company in Dublin. So what I really liked about that was that it was a great mix of things. So I wasn't working in one particular area. You know, one day I was working on doing the sort of end of year reports for a life insurance company. So sort of similar to an accountant who would, you know, you do your end of year accounts. This is the, the, the end of year report for their insurance business. You know, another day then I was working on monitoring investment products for a different company the next day it was working on a new product for health insurance and then you know there was some sort of report working as well so it was really broad and kind of gave me a great feel for what's involved with being an actuary which is something I think you kind of you don't really know once you actually get there you know it's, it's, almost, it's only so good talking to people you kind of have to get in and see the work before you know what's involved. Yeah it's great to, to have that learning by doing aspect it sounds like you got like a really great experience with what the career would be like and Speaking of careers, one of our other common questions relates to professional exams and the, the length it typically takes to, to graduate. I know you're a final year student, so you're, um, th th this is ahead of you, but would you be able to tell us a little bit about that process and, and whether there's any exemptions from the exams? Yeah, so I suppose probably the best thing about the degree in UCD is the amount of exemptions that you can possibly get uh, from the the exams so UCD has the most exams or most exemptions from the exams that you can get in Ireland so if your results of your exams are tr through the exams that are attached to these exemptions are good enough across your four years you can get all of the exemptions which will then mean you've less exams to do once you're finished um, college and you're working so generally speaking how it works then is that once you start on a grad job you know from the se September after you've graduated while working, you will do the sittings of the exams and the sittings happen twice a year, once in March and once in September, and you might do one or two exams at each sitting. So it typically takes maybe probably I think it's getting a bit shorter now, but it can take three years and maybe even up to six years, depending on how you get on and how many exemptions you have to get through all of the exams. Um, so it's a bit of a, a long road to look ahead, but you get great support from the companies that you work for uh, and they sort of help you along the way through it. That's brilliant, George. And I'll put a link under the video to the Institute and Faculty of Actuaries UK's website, just which will provide a little bit more detail about how that process works. Uh, so, George, just before we finish up, what are your future career plans? Like, do you see yourself going down into working as an actuary? Like, how have you found that you loved the career from the course? Yeah, so I suppose personally, I'm actually going to go back and work with the company that I was on place with. So I'm going to go and be a consultant and go through the actuarial exams. But like talking to some of my friends, you know, just because you do this course doesn't mean you have to go on and become an actuary. You can work right across the finance sector. And some of them are going into non-actuarial roles. You want to go into data science or can go into aircraft leasing. So you really have a lot of options. Um, it's not just you're in this course now, you're an actuary and that's it. And George, it's great to know that there are different options available. And my final question, what is your top tip to anyone watching this video who thinks that they might be interested in the course? Yeah, I suppose if you are interested, um, I think do your research. 
so you know go and try and wa watch all these videos of me and gary talking or look up the institute and faculties website and, and look at the modules on the ucd page as well so that's great um i think if you are interested in maths you're interested in that finance side and you think this might be interesting i would kind of say go for it because like i said even if you get through it and you say you know what i don't want to do the exams I don't want to be an actuary. You still have got such a range of options right across the finance sector that you could still go into afterwards. And it's a really great course to give you the foundations for any job like that. There are some great tips, George. Um, thank you for giving up your time this afternoon to, to answer these questions. I'm sure everyone watching will, will find them valuable. Best of luck with your final exams and similarly best of luck to anyone who's doing the Leaving Cert this year who's watching this. Thank you and goodbye. Thanks very much, Gary.